Hello and welcome to this session. Here we are going to discuss our console inputs and evaluation. I'm your instructor Rajesh Durbala and I'm an assistant professor in business analytics and research methodology. So R programming is one of the most powerful statistical programs that we have. It is one of the most popular reason being it's an open source and it can be very easy. It's very easy to create packages for it and it's evolving day by day. Today we are going to uh, get the brief basic outlook of what our console is and how do we input values, assign values and how do we evaluate and print those values. Okay, supercharged, come on let's get going and understand how things work in the R console. So how do we enter the input? Okay, so this is very simple now when we have an R prompt we type the expressions okay the symbol that looks like an left arrow is actually a less than symbol followed by a hyphen and this is called the assignment operator this is how it works we go into the R console and we type the values as such you can see this greater than arrow this is the default R prompt when this prompt appears that means I can type my values so X I can see this less than hyphen 1 that is to say this entire thing less than hyphen is called the operator so uh, this operator is called the assignment operator so this means I'm assigning the value 1 to X so this is quite simple this is the R prompt this is any value that is any variable for which I'm assigning the value 1 now I have again this R prompt now I want to print the value of X so I'll simply type the command print X and I get the output as 1 because I have assigned the value 1 for X so this is a very very explicit way of printing the value of x now the other way just we can get auto printing by just typing x and hit enter so the value of x gets auto printed that's one now these are integers or numeric values okay like i'm assigning x and i'm assigning the value of x to be a numeric value when I'm assigning characters for example this is MSG let us say this is the short form of message I'm assigning the value for message to be hello this is the assignment operator I have the R prompt this is message and for message I'm assigning the message to be as hello so wherever I'm using characters it has to be put in these quotation marks okay double quotes so message which is assigned the value of hello hello is a character so it's put in double quotes I follow the same thing this is explicit printing I have the R prompt print command in brackets I put message MSG and I get the output as hello this is uh, this is printing now I will go for explicit printing of the same command I have the R prompt then I have MSG hit enter then I get the output as hello either ways it's the same you have to be cautious while working on the R platform reason being R engine is very very case sensitive now let's say if I type MSG and assign the value as hello and if I you know print the command capital M then it would give you a warning sign an error output an error prompt would occur so you have to be careful while assigning the values check the case sensitivity it's highly case sensitive so you have to be very careful regarding that okay now the grammar of the language determines whether an expression is complete or not okay even this language as our language has its own grammar so the grammar you need to be careful about it you should be aware of it and it determines whether the expression is complete or not for example let us say 
here I'm assigning the value for this capital X to be something I don't know okay so I'm assigning X this is the assignment operator followed by nothing now these hash these hash it doesn't carry value it's simply the hash character indicates a comment okay the moment you put hash R understands the R engine interprets to be a comment okay so whatever you type and uh, which is following this hash including the hash itself will be ignored by the R engine so whatever you type on the right side of this hash including the hash would be ignored by R okay so remember this hash is an indicator for comments now very simple this is just a repetition of what we have done we will evaluate the inputs okay we have assigned values we have learned to assign numeric values at the same time we have learned to assign character values now we would learn to evaluate those values when a complete expression is entered at the prompt it is evaluated and the result of the evaluated expression is returned the result may be auto printed okay we have learned how to auto print so simple practice now let us say I am assigning the value for X to be 5 so this is how the auto printing occurs I just type X hit enter I get the auto printed output as 5 now this is explicit printing I ask the R uh, console to print X for me and the output is 5 now the square brackets okay this indicates it simply indicates that X is a vector and 5 is the first element okay you don't have to be surprised by what the square bracket is it simply it indicates that the output whatever the output is the first element okay now let us say if I have a lot of elements and if the line changes and in the second line let us say the first output is 200 then you will get 200 in the second line in this square brackets now printing that's quite simple now I'll just give you a new uh, idea of how to print sequences okay now let us say if I'm assigning the value for X to be 1 colon 20 so this 1 colon 20 now if I want to print X I write X hit enter I get this entire sequence 1 till 20 okay and you can see this in square brackets I get 1 which simply means that 1 is the first character 1 is the first character in this output okay so the operator colon is used to create integer sequences quite simple so you can get in touch with me you can follow me on LinkedIn Facebook you can write to me on Twitter this is my email ID where you can directly write to me any doubts or queries that you have you are a great audience and thanks for your attention